Hello, everyone. Today we are going to cover the content of negotiation preparation section two, handle negotiation information. This section mainly focuses on understanding the processing program for consultation information and drafting of the negotiation plan. First, let us take a look at. The processing program for negotiation information. The first step is to review the negotiation information before utilizing these pieces of information. It is imperative to conduct a rigorous review and a verification to ensure the correctness of information, reliability, and integrity. The content of a review mainly includes following two aspects. Integrity of information materials to examine the review of information. Integrity mainly refers to whether collected information has any omissions, whether collected items, data, and the indicators are complete. Second, the accuracy review of information materials. Accuracy review mainly refers to whether the collected information contains errors, duplicates, inconsistencies, abnormal situations, etc. Step two: Screen negotiation information. Valuable consultation information should meet the following criteria. Information accords with the need for consultation. Information has a high degree of negotiation information. Is comprehensive. The cost of obtaining the information matches the pre-established budget goals. Step three: Classify and group negotiation information. Information review, the review, and the screen are considered. Rough matching information wire classification and grouping. The information is a more detailed processing of the date. First, information classification determine the methods of classification and grouping. For example, whether to categorize by market or by time, or whether to classify according to quality mark or quantity indicator. Second, implement information sorting. For example, classify by market, then separate the collected information of European market, Asian market, and the market of American. Third, sort information. Important information should be put in front, while less important information should be placed at the back. Through the sorting of information, can make information become a well-organized information system. Second, information grouping. First, quality indicator grouping, such as the grouping enterprises by ownership, nature, or enterprise size. Second, quantity flag grouping, like enterprises by registered capital number of employees, sales revenue grouping. Third, simple grouping, such as enterprises, can category grouping by product is also can category by product sales revenue grouping, composite grouping, such as first grouping enterprise by size, send them by corporate reputation. Step four. Compilation and a summary of information. Information compilation focuses on the textual information and mainly involves summarizing and editing the categorized information according to the actual requirements of the investigation and research to create a systematic and complete material that reflects the objective duration of the objective duration of the investigated subject's information aggregation. Specifically, aims at. Date information. After summarizing, the date information usually is presented in the form of a table or graphics. Step five: Storing negotiation information. The summary or assembled consultation information needs to be registered, aid, and stored to form an information resource. Repository information storage methods include paper storage, micro storage, audio visual storage, CD storage, and computer storage. Next, we move on to the drafting of a negotiation plan. After the consultation information has been processed before formal negotiations, both parties involved in the transaction still need to evaluate opponents' possible targets, combined with their own advantages and weaknesses, and adjust. A consultation plan to determine negotiation strategy. Step one: determine the negotiation objectives. Negotiation objectives usually are the following three levels: first, upper limit target, also known as the highest goal. It refers to negotiators are willing to achieve goals. It's an ideal goal. It also the highest degree that the other party can bear. Second, middle limit target, also known as acceptable goals. This is negotiators in terms to achieve. It is a more practical and feasible goal, and it is also the target that both parties in the negotiation strive to achieve 
or willing to make concessions for. Third, lower limit target, also known as the minimum target. It refers to the goal that the negotiator must achieve. It is a type of a critical target when the other party proposes conditions that are lower than the target threshold that one's own can achieve it should reconsider basic situation or negotiation or terminate the negotiation. For example, a certain company during a negotiation sets a selling price as the negotiation goal, then the above three objectives can be expressed as follows. The upper limit target is a selling price of 1500 yuan per unit. The lower limit target is a selling price of 900 yuan per unit. The median target is a selling price between 900 yuan and 1500 yuan. Step 2. Drafting the negotiation agenda. A typical negotiation agenda includes the following content. First, consultation time. Includes overall deadline, start time, time of each round, the duration of each session, and the recess time, etc. Second, negotiation location includes specific negotiation venue and the specific requirements for the venue. Third, topic of consultation includes the central topic of negotiation, the general principle for resolving the central issue, and the details requirements surrounding central topic content. Fourth, negotiation schedule includes the order of consultation matters, the division of a series of consultations into rounds, and the general division of labor for each party's negotiation team. In each round, other matters for negotiation include requirements and preparation, transaction, signing, determination, and invitation of arbitrator, the arrangements of negotiators, food and accommodation, traffic, visit, rest, gifts, and other matters. Step 3. Determine the arrangement of the negotiation agenda. There are various three types. First, start with the easy issue first, then move on to the difficult one being by negotiating the easier topic of discussion to lay a solid foundation and create a good atmosphere for discussing more challenge issues. Second, start with difficult issue. First, move on the easier one. Focus your energy and time to important and difficult topic. Thoroughly discuss the problem by primary and secondary to promote the solution of other issue. Third, mixed approach. Bring up all the issues to be negotiated, summarize all the topics to be discussed, and clearly identify all the issues that have reached a consensus for unresolved issues topic. Further negotiations are conducted until a consensus is reached. Second, requirements for drafting a consultation plan. Consultation plan to drafting, please note that the following requirements. First, consultation plan to highly summarize the same using the simplest text or expression, achieving goals and requirements. Consultation plan should divide the agenda range into a few steps. Behind every step, noting the matters that need attention in each step, like the length of time, the required documents, etc., so as not to give an abstract and empty impression, and it surely serve as a reminder. Third, consultation plan should be flexible regarding controllable factors. We must make meticulous arrangements for uncontrollable random factors. We must make mobile arrangements so that negotiators can flexibly utilize subjective agency and conduct negotiations more effectively. Please complete the following after class tasks. Alright, this concludes today's lesson. See you in next class.